So, if you see the statements on the board, when no external force acts on a body, then its momentum remains constant. F equal to 0 m plus p equal to constant. This is the main statement of conservation of momentum. But conservation of momentum is very popular in the case called collisions. What is meant by collision? Collision is nothing but a body is coming and hitting another body. Like a car on the road moving and hit another car. Or the bike hits another car. Or two balls rolling on a board and hitting with each other. Or the best example I can tell you when you play caroms. When you hit the striker, the striker goes and hit a coin. Or maybe in the play, one coin hits another coin. So, this is what called collision. So, in this collision also conservation of momentum is applicable and it has a formula also. So, let me derive for you that conservation of momentum formula in collisions. See this diagram carefully. There are two bodies of masses m1, m2. Let us imagine two marbles having initial velocities u1, u2. They collide with each other and after the collision, they move in the same direction with the different velocities v1, v2. We say final velocities. Now, while they are colliding, see carefully, m1 mass applies force f12 on m2. Similarly, m2 mass applies force f21 on m1. These two forces are equal and opposite. F12 is equals to F21 and opposite. So, do you remember anything? Do you recalling any concept what we learned earlier? Yes, this is nothing but action reaction forces, Newton's third law. If I say F12 is action, F21 is reaction. Action, reaction, both are equal and opposite. Okay. Now, let me write the expression for F12. F12 is the force by mass F M1 on M2. So, in this force applied on mass M2, according to Newton's second law, the force formula is F12 equal to mass into acceleration. But this is the mass on M2. So, M2 mass into A. So, therefore, shall I will write M2 into acceleration. Which body gets acceleration? The body M2 gets acceleration. So, the body's M2's acceleration is change in velocity by time. Change in velocity means final velocity minus initial velocity. M2 final velocity is V2, initial velocity is U2. So, therefore, I will write V2 minus U2 by time T. Now, let me write a F21, force by mass M2 on M1, same, mass into acceleration, but with the and body mass M1, so M1 into A, so M1 into M1's acceleration, so M1's V1, U1, so V1 minus U1 divided by T, okay. So, these are two expressions. These two expressions are supplied here. So, implies in this expression. So, I am uh, rewriting M2 into V2 minus U2 by T equals to minus M1 into V1 minus U1 divided by T. See carefully. T is nothing but time of collision. Now, here as the time of collision is same for M1 M2 mass because they are simultaneously hit with each other. So, TT is cancelled. So, what you get M2 V2 minus M2 U2 equals to minus M1 V1 plus M1 U1. Just check once. Minus into minus which is plus. So, you got an expression. Now, now, what I do? See what I am doing. Minus M1 U1 bringing to left hand side. So, M1 V1 plus M2 
v2 equals to minus m2 u2 brings to right hand side so then we'll get m1 u1 plus m2 u2 rewriting the same statement here first i write this one m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so what is m into u mass into velocity is nothing but momentum this is the momentum of first body p1 m1 u1 see first body m1 u1 so p1 plus m2 u2 moment of the second body p2 but this is these are the initial one equals to m1 v1 this is the moment of the first body but after collision so when i say after collision i will write p1 f means final plus p2 f so what we understood with this p1 plus p2 i means this is the total momentum before collision this is the total momentum after collision so hence the conservation momentum can also be stated as the total momentum before collision is equals to total momentum after collision and this is the very very important formula for you for solving numericals you can see the two statements of conservation of momentum the first one already we discussed the second one one more time total momentum before collision equals to total momentum after collision m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so the second statement is very much helpful for you to solve problems in collisions case if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus